So, um, so, Save can hold a lot of stuff here and here. But how much? So in this section, one, two, three. Now, three, six. Um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. So he holds twenty-seven stuff up here. So then in this section, how much stuff does he hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus twenty-seven equals thirty-six. So he holds thirty-six stuff in here. So that means now let's use the calculator. So basically since he can hold thirty-six stuff in his inventory, he can also hold sixty-four stacks of it. So if we do the math, twenty-seven Plus six. Okay, maybe I got wrong a bit. Okay. Okay, it was nine. So, anyway. Now if we multiply that by 64. I mean. Now if we multiply 36 by 64. He can hold two thousand three hundred and four stuff. So if we fill all our stuff to sixty four, okay, you know what? This indeed take a lot of this indeed take a lot of time. So anyway, in conclusion, this is what it looks like. Oh, Steve. Pretend that wood is 64 stuff. <laughs> so, in conclusion, this... Alright, hold on. This is basically equivalent to 2,304 stuff that Steve is holding. Yeah, I made a couple mistakes in this. But pretend just everything just looks like 64 so, basically, this is what it looks like. Yes, it's a crazy amount. Also, did any- is it just me, or did I not know that smithing templates can just be stacked? Yeah, I did not know that either. But also, he could probably lift more, because he's not even struggling to walk. With this many stuff in his pants, and this many stuff. And also, I made him netherite, because... It's... It's netherite, so... Of course he would be weighed down. But no, he's not weighed down. Netherite's probably one of the heaviest armor in the game. So yeah, Steve can hold a lot of stuff in his inventory. Which probably can get you more where you can think what you can lift. Do you think we're done with that stuff? We're not even coming close Rocket to League. The Rocket League reminds me of something because I also made a custom training pack. It is called Easy. This striker is basically just one of one of many strikers that I made. But, this striker is different. It's easy, because it's not for rookies, it's actually for pros. But it's so that you don't miss any shots. So yeah, let's upload this. And let's get inside the training bag. Welcome back guys into another video. The download code is 
H6361F C4CD H43B 80C9. So, yeah, let's just let me show you what this is. So the first one, yes, I'm wearing an armadillo car, is basically you have to boost. You might miss, but because the ball is right in the net, okay, this is an aerial shot that you're basically supposed to do in air, because I don't know why, I just made it like that. So yeah, um, it's basically just shooting it into the net, and... Yeah, I just want to say how horrible this car is. You should never use it. But, yeah, you're supposed to do that. Now, it might get a random speed. This is not just conquered on speed. Now, this one is just a basic one. And it also lasts four seconds. Like, the last one was three seconds. So, I tried to shave off the most time as possible in these type of training packs. So, yeah, that's why it's like this. Now you're supposed to press boost. It's supposed to be a ground pinch for beginners. So this is how it's supposed to go. Yeah. Now this one is just a full one. This is just a full ball pass. So yeah, this is how it goes. It was supposed to do a flip, and yeah, that's how it goes. And then this one, you're immediately treated with the timer. There's no excuses. It beeps, even though you didn't boost, you didn't jump, you didn't walk with your car. You just started the game, and you just hit the ball. That's what the, this is supposed to be. So yeah, that's the next one. You immediately hit the ball in that round, by the way. Now this next one, you don't immediately get hit by the ball, and you don't get hit by the ball anyway. Because to start the game, you gotta boost. You gotta walk. Well, you, well, you just have to press this button to walk. <laughs> or just jump entirely. Which, surprisingly enough, if you do a sh long jump, it doesn't hit the ball sometimes, but sometimes it will, and the short jump will definitely not. <laughs> and also, yeah, the ball just skips right over you. That's what makes this interesting. This is five seconds long. This is how the next one goes. Flip. And, yeah. Now this one you're supposed to, you're just supposed to make a goal. Without the ball going in yet. So the ball is out. You gotta make a shot inside. So it's basically just a ball bouncing back and forth inside the net. And you try to hit it to get inside the net. Yeah, and that's the end for today's video.